Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It is I, Strix, back at it with more Marvel Snap. It in. Bleh. Wait, oh, I totally forgot my intro. Today I'm playing more Marvel Snap, that's the thing. And I'm playing with a Miss Marvel deck. Hello. <laughs> All right, I got it. I, yeah. Bleh. Oh, Miss Marvel, what does she do? She does things about adjacent locations with unique costs. Oh my god, oh, my brain <laughs> stopped for a second. Because usually, okay, look here, here's the deal. Usually, my intro goes, uh, well, well, what's going on, everybody? Is I, Strix, but I'm trying, I'm changing it slightly. I'll get to good morning, good afternoon, good evening, which is also, you know, a really fun way to say it. But I just feel like I lose my thinking because, oh, I, I usually say, it feels off, you know? It's like, yeah, I usually say, it is I, you know, with the little growl in my throat. Um, but I didn't do it this time, so like, yeah, I might have uh, forgotten exactly what I was doing, so. Anyway, we're you know we're moving past that. We're playing Marvel Snap. We have Miss Marvel. Her ability uh, ongoing. The adjacent locations get plus five to their um, to their costs as long as there's unique cost cards on either end. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. So I have cards such as Colossus. I have Cosmo. Omega Red is here. Is uh, exists uh, uh, as well. Excuse me. My God. I'm just gassy across. I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. All right. So we have Spectrum here. Let's see if she can help aid Miss Marvel and the gang. Okay, Jubilee coming down. And what are they going to bring out? Oh, a Doctor Doom. Very interesting. Oh, that was really close, actually. Uh, oh, it could have been worse. But you know what? It's fine. Uh, we still have a, a fairly solid lead on the peak in Crimson Cosmos. We'll take that. We'll take that as a win. All right. No, it's uh, no, it's not too terrible. Lothar, his abs have an unreveal effect. Oh, okay. What happens when you reveal the abs? Oh. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Space Stone. Looks like we're going up against Thanos. You know, I haven't really played any Thanos decks. I should. I feel like I should um, put some time into making that deck because. I feel like I haven't had a, I don't think I have any videos with Thanos in it. I do have um, the ultimate version of Thanos with the, no, I don't think it was the ultimate, it was like a spotlight catch one. Um, where he has like, it's the zombie version. So I do want to get that. So maybe, maybe we'll do that. Okay. He's got a bunch of, uh, he got a bunch of stones out, getting game destroyed. Carnage coming in and now Cosmo has been dropped down as well. So we'll take that as uh, an extra summon that can work. At least uh, it wasn't on some of the other two. I want them in the center. Oh, New York. All right. Oh, we got Spectrum here too. All right, no card to play, so we're going to have to move forward from there. Ah, oh, Magic coming in to give us an extra last turn on Limbo. Let's see if that will help me here. Starting with Omega Red. So if it's going to be Omega Red, I have to try and like reach out to the other side and see if I can make him more powerful. He's got Shadow King in there for whatever reason. I feel like Shadow King hasn't had a lot of um, a lot of changes to his ability. Or like, hasn't really been played much. So I don't know. Okay, it might be uphill battle because there's uh, Devil Dino. So Mega Red's going to have a hard time winning that location. So let's see. First, we let's Onslaught down. Onslaught's going to double up on Omega Red. He's got Giganto. So let's see if we can't make this work and stretch across to victory with Spectrum. So let's see. Okay, Thanos, he's playing. I have Spectrum. Okay, there we go. That's all I needed. Spectrum with her power plus uh, plus two. Goose takes New York against the Power Stone. Ooh, very nice. Oh, uh, we love that. Spectrum coming in with the clutch save. All right, who's next? Zamoli. Uh, Zamoli, is that how you say it? I don't know, man. I'm going to say wrong names all the time. And my apologies for those, for doing that to you. All right. Ooh, deep space. Oh, no. That means the adjacent location is... Uh, having, her, having any card in the center is not bueno. Can't do that. So now I got to play around differently. Let's get Cosmo in there. 
Oh, he is not playing anything. Interesting. It's hard when there's one location that has... Basically, it nullifies everything. There's no... Not, not just for ongoing, not just for unreveals. Everything. Now, it's good if you have a detrimental effect, but... You know... A lot of car, a lot of decks don't have that issue. Or do have that issue that deep space is not something you want to hang out in, you know? Alright. Thankfully, Sandman, I'm going to be playing, so that, that last turn... It's going to be problematic for some people. Ooh, he played White Tiger, thinking it was going to do anything but forgot about Cosmo. Ooh, rough, bro. That's sad. That's so sad for you. And, oh, opponent leaving. He thought he had it. That's sad and unfortunate for you, buddy. GG's, my guy. Yeah, transcender. Whoa, league of my own, it don't get better. No, read what I wrote, I'm a bestseller. Yeah, reach for my goals, hit it dead center, hit it dead center.